Hey Pony Squad and welcome back to Pony Squad Vlogs. Today I am not at Triple D. As you guys can see, I'm at my own barn with my own horses, as you can see right there. And I will I am just today just going to be um the lighting I'm sorry about the lighting in the barn, but um today I'm just gonna be doing some tacking up, some sort of just saddle training and stuff because my horse is quite green and she knows that well so further ado let's get on with the video and we're back in the barn ignore this on my arm i drew on my arm in class i am different that way um i'm just gonna put vicky in these cross ties really quick so let's do that and you guys get to watch me do pretty much everything and yeah hi baby can you back up back 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 good girl back good girl so i just walk her around to the end here she can't turn around here like you can um then I just clip her in the cross ties. <laughs> and that's that's Gigi. Um, I'm just gonna open Gigi's door here and put a fence up so she can't get out. But she can still see what I'm doing, and I'll show you guys right now what I just did. So put this little fence up so she can still see Vicky here. Vicky's looking so cute. All right, so as all equestrians know, we start off with grooming. And she is really good with grooming. She is, oh my gosh, you kids. I'm so sorry, guys. She's moving the fence thing I put up. Anyways, um, Vicky's really good with grooming. She is really good with her hooves, well, sometimes. And then Tiny Horse over there, she's kind of bad with it. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get all of her stuff and I'm sorry that you guys can't see me. But I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing. So sorry about the mess. I didn't get en enough time to clean this, but we start off with the curry comb, which is, I chucked it back there for some reason. I don't know why. And then we get a hard brush, a soft brush, a face brush, and I'm gonna use some fly spray and some shoshine or shoshine, however you guys pronounce it. I'm just gonna put it right here. So I have everything right in my hands, pretty much. All right, now my curry comb is back here. Go get it. Don't know why it's back here. Oh yeah, it's from when I was, uh, I bathed Vicky a bit. Just put some water on her because we were doing some exercising and she got a bit sweaty. Anyways, back to the other angle. We're back. Um, if you guys can't see, Gigi is scratching her neck. Well, that's not going to end well because that fence is going to end up falling and she's going to spook. But whatever. Um, so I'm also going to do the same thing to Gigi. I love her so much. Okay, I'm gonna go get a show machine really quick. Vicky, you keep it on the camera. Guys, I need to buy some new show machine. This is almost empty. I've been using so much because it's so nice. Love it. This, 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with spraying it on her entire body. She's completely dry from the bath I gave her. Um, sorry, guys, if I keep turning a bad angle to the camera. And I'm sorry if my brother comes in here. Good morning, Foyla. There you go, good girl. So, now we're going to, um, I'm just gonna brush out her mane, even though you're supposed to curry comb first. It doesn't really ma matter with the mane, it just matters with the body. Sorry about that, guys. My siblings 
came and they were talking to me and calling me weird for making YouTube videos. But all right, you do you. Um, all right, so like I said, just gonna start on the main and forelock. Um, for any new people that like they're just starting out with horses and don't really have experience with them and don't know like almost anything about them, but here's a little quick tip. Horses can't feel pain in their mane, but I think they can everywhere else on the body. Even I think that includes their forelock. But on their mane, you can like yank on it, blah, blah, blah. But you guys gotta be nice to your horses still. Um, her mane is quite naughty for a horse that doesn't really do much. I'm gonna, if you guys know Harlow and Popcorn, I'm going to do the, like, this. <laughs> that looks so funny. You look so funny. <laughs> okay, now curry comb. So this is very important to do circles with your curry comb. Just do circles like I'm doing. She loves her back scratch so you guys get to see funny faces. She is kind of like shedding right now, but she's also growing like, um, <laughs> She's also growing some her winter coat because it's kind of getting a bit colder here um, in Canada. So, yeah. And she's very dusty, so it's a good thing I'm doing this. Um, then, hard brush. And if you guys didn't know the difference, this one just have, has harder bristles. And this one, this one has way softer bristles. Yeah, so you use a hard brush first to get in and flick off any like dirt. Like get underneath the hairs and flick it all off and the dust and the extra hair that you remove with the curry comb. Um, but also, yeah, guys, don't, don't do what I just did, if, especially if you're on a horse that you don't really know and you're tacking it up and you don't really necessarily know the horse very well or know what it has you know been in the past so i'm going to show you some things not to do with horse okay that you can do i'm so sorry about that guys <laughs> my horse knocked down this gate again she has a problem with that all right back to what i was saying I'm going to demonstrate some things not to do. And I haven't tried one of these things with her, so, yeah. This one, going under their neck. If they're not desensitized to things like this, they can't, they'll, they'll spook, bite, like, get scared. But the only reason why we don't do that, this is a blind spot. She, she can't see my hand right now. She can see my hand here and here, but she can't see my hand here. So when you go under and you just pop up on the other side, sometimes it scares them. So if your horse isn't trained for that or desensitized to that, don't do it. And then again, going around the butt, here's a little life hack for you guys. If you're going around a horse's butt in a, either a tight space or something like that and the horse and the, there's a blind spot and the horse can't see you you put your hand near their head like right on their neck and you hold your hand on their body throughout your their entire body so they know exactly where you are and it's just a cute little hack also ears a lot of horses don't like their ears being touched but she can she's fine with ears um yeah. <laughs> so watch your hands near their mouths. They can bite. She doesn't really. Well, she bites only when she feels like it. Um, she doesn't really bite hands. She more bites limbs. I have a bite. She gave me a bite like right here and it really hurt and it was like bruised for a couple days. But it's only because I went too far with her 
and it wasn't even my fault it wasn't her fault it was my aunt's fault she literally like kicked her and i'm literally not accepting my aunt to be over here near this horse anymore anyways um we're just gonna flick the soft brush if you guys didn't know is used to get off all of the dirt that you just left on from the hard brush okay back up oh my gosh okay ignore those noises my siblings and they really like being brushed well some of them and it's a really good way to bond with your horse again going around the butt make sure you're touching them the whole time so they know exactly where you are so you don't get kicked especially when you're by yourself also right here some horses really don't like that um my mini over here she hates that with a, like a burning passion then face brush also your horses need to be desensitized to touching like everywhere on their face <laughs> she likes her face being brushed move my phone a bit so you guys can see her well i need her to back up too <laughs> good job give them lots of pets lots of treats if they're fat don't give them treats just give them lots of good encouragement so they know that they're being good um if they're being bad you know can't really say what to do uh you just kind of gotta figure it out in the moment but a lot of the times when they're being bad, don't give them any rewards. Like even if you're if you're riding your horse and they literally, if you're riding an untrained horse or a horse that hasn't been ridden in a long time, um, every little move they do, every little step, congratulate them for. Because if you do that, they're gonna say, oh, I did something good. Well, I wanna keep doing that. Unless your name is Vicky and you, are very stubborn and you're kind of mean sometimes i would not accept a little kid to ride her even though he'd be okay like the kid would be okay it's just she would not do anything for the kid she'd just stand there like nothing happened um and yeah so i'm gonna pause it right here and i'm gonna come back when she's completely groomed and the fly spray is on her all right see you then